Court calls the case of the people versus Susanna Williams. I'm supposed to be. Caitlin Bergman, behalf of people. Ron Brown appearing on behalf of Suzanne Williams. Good morning. Good morning. Your Honor, we're trying to resolve this case. There's an offer to plead to an added count to a retail fraud in the third degree. And count one would be dismissed. She's, I know you don't do COBS or sentencing agreements, but I believe her jail credit is 93 days on this offense. So she would be seeking a credit for time served sentence with release. I believe uh, the donuts that she stole and ate uh, would be the basis for the restitution if, if the court were to order. So there is restitution. Yes, Your Honor. Donuts. Okay. I didn't mean to say it like that. What's the restitution, sir? Right? You got to pay for the donuts you ate. Oh, okay. If the judge orders that. So do we know the amount of restitution? I'm just double checking, Your Honor. Right? They weren't Dunkin' Donuts. Though. I believe that I do. They were packaged donuts. Okay, Dunkin' are fancy. Mm -hmm. You know you can get the ones with the sprinkles. <laughs> you are no one. And the nuts. You know. And the powder <laughs> shell. No, you know what? They weren't those. No, Mr. Brown. <laughs> they were just. <laughs> they were they told me, when they told me you were going to be here, right. I almost stayed home. <laughs> For me? Judge Simpson. <laughs> They weren't the powdered sugar ones. Okay. Okay. We'll Come see. On. We'll see how much they cost. I like donuts. You, I should have brought you some. They go good with your coffee. Four dollars and sixty-eight cents. Those are some pretty good donuts. <laughs> they weren't that good. Were they stale? Yeah, I think so. They were a little stale. Four sixty-eight. Yes. See, I was shopping and forgot. To Shh. Okay. So she wishes to take advantage of the offer. <laughs> you want? Yes, yes, Your Honor. Yeah, have her sworn, please. Raise your right hand. You solemnly swear affirm the testimony about the give the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God. Yes, I do. State your, state your name. Susanna Williams. All right, ma'am. It is this court's understanding that you are going to be pleading guilty to the charge of retail fraud, third degree. That is a misdemeanor punishable by up to 93 days in jail, $500 fine plus court costs. The fine could be increased at three times the value of the property taken. If that's greater than $500, that would become the maximum fine. You understand that? Yes, Your Honor. All right. And understanding that, do you still wish to plead guilty? Yes, sir. To that charge, how do you plead? Um, I plead guilty, Judge Simpson. All right. You understand that by pleading guilty, you'll not have a trial of any kind? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Because of that, you're giving up certain rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. You're also giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent, not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Do you understand that? Yes, Your Honor. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right. What is that? If you don't like the sentence or you change your mind, then you got to get permission from a higher court. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Are you on probation or parole? No, I'm not. Has anybody promised you anything other than what's been stated here today on the record to get you to plead guilt? No, Your Honor. Anybody threaten you or coerce you? No, sir. You're doing this voluntarily and of your own free will? Yes, I am. And because you believe that you are indeed guilty? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, on December 21st, 2022, at the location of 7000 East Michigan Avenue, Pittsfield Township, Washington County, that being the Walmart, what do you do on that day that makes you think that you're guilty? Um, I ate some donuts in the store and premises. Okay, so you went into the store and you ate these donuts and didn't pay for them? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Store was open to the public at the time? Yes. These donuts that you ate, these were prop this was property that was offered for sale by Walmart? Yes, Your Honor. And you didn't have anybody's permission to eat those donuts, did you? No, sir. 
All right, Council, have I complied with the court rule? Would it be proper to accept this defendant's plea? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Court will accept the defendant's plea of guilty to count two. Count one is dismissed. Anything either of you'd like to say before the court imposes sentence? Um, I'm I'm sorry about that, Your Honor. Um, I'm making better choices now. I had a chance to do the bond farms in jail program. So it gave me a chance to look at um, what's important in my life. And um, I've been sober for three and a half years now. I just want to thank you again for um, giving me the time to uh, be in here and to start my life again. Thank you. Mr. Brown, you see April 23rd. She did. That was at 93. You've been in since the time of the arraignment, is that correct? For 93 days, yes, Your, your Honor. Now she was arrested on April 24, 2023, and then she was remanded from our court for 365 days to February 2nd, 2024. And I'm going to take that up next after you do the sentence. Yeah. The sentence that she was remanded on, I want to address that with your permission. In your <laughs> grace this morning. Yes, though. I'm going to ask him how it was. But you got to write out. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. Sentence of the court, fines and costs of $250. I'm pay that 30 days after your release. I ordered 93 days in, on this case, 93 days Washington County Jail, credit 93 served. I will also order restitution in the amount of $4.68 payable through the court to Walmart. Your Honor, as a prosecutor, thank you for your grace this morning. As the <laughs> prosecutor, and she's under remand right now, doing a year in jail with an out date in February of 2024. I wasn't the lawyer present when you handed down that sentence, but I'm informed that it was a case from 2016 where she violated the terms of. Violated once. She violated once the terms of her probation and she was remanded. Um, I don't have that case number before me right now, but, but, but when you sentenced her to the year in jail, you said upon completion of the Don Farm program in jail, you would consider um, releasing her on that one year sentence. Mm -hmm. And she's asking me now very eloquently. She's reminded me about four times <laughs> if you would consider an early release because I'm producing a certificate of completion from the Don Farm. OK, the normal way that's going to go about is that if that is sent to probation, and we have proof of that to probation, then probation will make sure that it gets on my docket for consideration of the early release. I When's your next docket? Today? At I one o'clock, you got a docket, right? I'll walk down to probation and give it to him right now if you okay. want. Because you got a docket yeah. this afternoon, too. But I didn't want him to take her back. And she's going to blow up my phone, Judge. <laughs> she's going to blow up my phone. I, I sent it through uh, Patrick, and I never got a response back because... Who Mr. Noctree. Who was here on July 5th when I had my um, uh, adjournment. He said that he was supposed to get everything together and he never did. But Mr. Brown has been working hard to. Um, I'm a great lawyer. Right? Oh, so <laughs> to, Am I a good lawyer? Uh, yes, you are. She was yes, mad are. at me yesterday when I went to see her at the jail. I was just upset because I thought I was supposed to, going to be released on the 5th. And I had completed this on June 20th. So. But, and she's gone through a series of lawyers, but I'm the best one, right? You are. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, he's going to make me go home. So can we see her at one if I walk this down to probation? Please. She said, please. please I heard. Hey. 
Mr. Brown. Yes, sir. 9.39. Huh? My docket started at 9. I got out here about 9.15. And somehow you have, in two cases, managed to entirely try to disrupt everything. In one case. So here's what we're going to do. Yes, sir. What I indicated is, and this is how it usually happens, Mr. Noctree would get something to Ms. Polera. You can take that down, and if they create a form, I don't even need to see her if I'm going to do the release. Okay, so I'm, I'll am be right back. No, <laughs> no, no. You can be, you, you're more than welcome back. But that's how that would happen. So I've done everything I can. I'm going to walk this down when we get You're done. You're just going to take it to probation? Right now. Okay. So do I have to write anything or do a kite? Because I've already done that, and they didn't send me anything back. They said that they sent it over to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just I'm, I'm anxious because I've been here really? 93 Again, days. Tell <laughs> Ms. Polera if she would then contact, contact Mr. Notry. Okay. And okay. see what can happen. That okay. doesn't mean that it will happen today, young lady. Okay. All right. I understand. That is the way that the process works. All right. Thank you so Despite much. Mr. Brown's efforts, I'm not changing what I normally do. Okay. All right. I understand. Thank you okay. so much. <coughs> Have a wonderful day. So I'm going to go take this tour right now. So don't call me. <laughs> Have a beautiful day, Jeff. You do the same. We have. We have sent the necessary advisories out, Mr. Brown, that, to Ms. Valera that you will be gracing her doorstep shortly. Thank you. Um, Mr. Brown, Brown. I'm going to go walk this down there. Oh, the police report. Don't worry, I'm going to go walk this down, Jack. The whole thing. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Well, I'm coming back. Oh, okay. You know, 15 plus years he was before me. I kind of miss it, but not really. Court <laughs> case of the People versus Chacal Burnett or Burnett Bennett. Excuse me. On behalf of people. Assistant Public Defender Calvin Hawthorne. Oh, uh, Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, will you state your name? Sorry, Kyle Bennett. Your Honor, today's the date is set for a bench trial. The people are ready to proceed, but I have spoken to the victim and I have spoken to the defense counsel. I believe that the defendant is going to be pleading no contest when added count to trespass 750.552. The 30 day $250 fine um, under a prosecutor's deferred. Got it. With the understanding that the victim just wanted um, there to be some oversight, but no contact, and no votes from order to continue, um, and for this not to happen to anyone else, especially herself again. That is accurate, uh, Your Honor. All right, very good. May I have him sworn? Right here. Do you solemnly swear to affirm the testimony about the give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, sir? Be God. Yes, sir. State your whole name. Sartell Bennett. All right, sir. It is his court's understanding that you're going to plead no contest to the charge of trespassing. Yes, sir. That is a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 30 days incarceration and or $250 fine plus court cost. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Do you understand what a no contest plea is? Yes, sir. All right, let me explain two things just to make sure. It first of all means that you're not further desirous or wanting to contest this charge. You understand that? Yes, sir. Second thing you need to understand is that for purposes of sentencing, the court will treat you the same as though you had pled guilty. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Basis for the no contest plea? Civil, civil liability here. All right. So, sir, to that charge, how do you plead? No, no contest. Sir. You understand that by pleading no contest that you'll not have a trial of any kind. Yes, sir. Right. Because of that, you're giving up certain rights. You're giving up your right to call witnesses to speak for you at trial or to have this court compel their attendance. Yes, sir. You're giving up your right to see, hear, and question all witnesses against you at trial. 
You're also giving up your right to be a witness for yourself or to remain silent, and not have that silence used against you. And you're giving up your right to be presumed innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. You understand that? Yes, sir. You understand you're giving up your right to appeal of right? Yes, sir. Are you on probation or parole? No, sir. Has anybody promised you anything? No, sir. Other than what's been stated here today on the record to get you to plead guilty or plead no contest? No, sir. Anybody threaten you or coerce you? No, sir. You're doing this voluntarily and of your own free will? Yes, sir. All right. The court has been provided Pittsfield Township Department of Public Safety report for their case number. 229089. Any objection to the court having reviewed that report? Yeah. No objection. All right. Based upon the court's review of that report, the court does find that there's a sufficient factual basis in which the court could determine the defendant's guilt for this offense. Counsel, have I complied with the court rule? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. All right. The court will accept the defendant's plea to count two. Count one is dismissed because it's going to be a prosecutor deferred. Defendant is referred to probation for a pre-sentence investigation and report and consideration of prosecutors deferred. Sentencing in this matter will be September 13th, 2023, 9 a.m. That will be via Zoom. All right. Thank you. Bond will continue. Ms. Kirby can have that. Oh, that's it. Or whatever it was. All right, thank you. He can stop down at probation on his way out of the building. Thank you. Okay, is that? Who? Oh. Oh, take care. Nice chatting with you. <laughs> Continue. She's in one of the side rooms, and I do know she was also zooming into another oh so she was zooming in yeah. okay then court well sir yeah. you're here for um, our one one. One. <laughs> oh, no. oh okay got it okay so you court does call the case of arbor one west versus Peter Cunningham and Joseph Jenkins. Good morning, Your Honor. Cheryl Walkoff on behalf of the plaintiff. Joseph Jenkins, right? All right. And this is, I think, the date I set for trial. Yes, it is, Your Honor. All right. Where are we on this case? Your Honor, we were in court on Friday, the 21st. And at that juncture, we had presented to the court that a violation complaint with the city had been dismissed. Mr. Jenkins indicated to the court that there were still ongoing repair issues. The court set this matter for trial. Um, my client yesterday around 4.35 o'clock emailed Mr. Jenkins. No, it was Monday, actually. Excuse me. Um, court was on Friday. On Monday, the 24th, emailed Mr. Jenkins for entry in order to see what was going on, what was not repaired, if anything. And Mr. Jenkins refused entry. And at this juncture, we're prepared to go forward or in the alternative, if the court wants to order Mr. Jenkins to let us into the unit. And then we would ask for August rent placed into escrow. All right. Sir, what do you want to say? Uh, yes, so I reply to the, the uh, entry request with a request to be moved from the unit, which my understanding now is that's an option. Um, and I was also told that it needed to be the next day. And I know in the lease, it has to be at least 48 hours notice. So, okay. I'm sure. more than happy to let them inside the unit. Why didn't you just do it in the first place? Because <laughs> I re re have requested to be moved since. Okay, but, but hold on a second. Yep. You come here with a complaint that there are repair issues, right? right? They would need to know and be able to look at those repair issues. They already have. Well, hold on. Uh, Sir, just listen. Listen to Because what you did just sounds silly. Okay. They come to address the issue that you raised, right. that everybody's got to come to court for, right. and then you won't let them in. Okay. And you want them to do something that they, quite frankly, don't have to do. And to the extent they would have to do it, they need to look at and be able to justify why they'd be doing it. Yes, sir. I know. 
And now, because of that, everybody's time is wasted. See, escrow has been placed in thus far. Right? I have a thousand fifty. That is correct. Well, I'm not. So, sir, here, I got a choice here. Okay. Because I can adjourn this out, have you put in an escrow, let them come in. Or what I can do is let them put on their proofs. What's going to end up happening, because I would imagine that their proofs are going to show me that what repairs are there are done. Okay. Anything else then that you're complaining about won't really be heard by the court because you didn't let them inspect the premises to try to determine something and try to abate whatever issue there was. Okay. And so then what ends up happening is you end up losing. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. So given that you made the first bad decision, what would you have me do? Um, I mean, I made the complaint with the city in May. Not there. What would you have me do today, given what you've done and what they're trying to do? I would, I guess, ask for an adjournment so that they can come and make the assessment again. <clears throat> Your Honor, there is a balance right now, $4,126.68. I understand there's 1050 in escrow. We don't object. I mean, again, I... The court understands what our position would be. Um, I would ask if there could be another payment. The tenant moved in on April 17th of this year and has not paid. So if there can be another payment and then August rent put into escrow, we would have no objection to the adjournment to address the issues, but I'm concerned with the You have anything to say to that? Um, I, my understanding is when there's maintenance issues like that, we can withhold rent. And well, okay. I mean, this is part I'm of the make a payment and put money in escrow. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm not trying to be difficult. No. <laughs> Here's the problem. You got a little piece of the law, mm -hmm. but then don't have the other half. Okay. Because if I order you to put it in escrow, you got to put it in escrow. I understand what the law says about withholding it, right. but it doesn't say that you get to withhold it. Technically, what the law says is, is that if you're going to be withholding rent under these circumstances, it needs to be in an account. Okay. And if I and I have to ask you for that account, then and you don't have it, then it's not being withheld for that purpose Got under it. the law. Got it? Got it? So I don't think you want me to ask you that question. Is that right? Correct. Yeah, I didn't think so. So How much are you going to put into escrow right away, right now? At least August month's rent. A month's rent. That's a thousand fifty, yes. right? When will you have that in? Uh, by Friday. Well, we're asking for an additional amount because he's saying August rent. I, I, okay. I understand. Okay. You're going to you're going to need to put more in. OK. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Young man, <laughs> let me just ask you, what are you trying to do here? Um, Take your hands out of your pockets. Please. Sorry. Um, so, Your Honor, there's been mold in the unit since I moved in. When I moved in, the shower would leak profusely. It took weeks for that to get addressed. The second bedroom couldn't be used at all because of a leak from the HVAC unit. So I was not even able to use one of the bedrooms in the apartment. Um, I have requested many times from them for uh, maintenance requests. They just ignore them. And the only reason that they came in was because I made a complaint with the city. So it's been like this since we moved in. 
Your Honor, I'm, I'm ready to go to trial. I mean, if we're going to start getting into this, okay. because we've, we've been in and we've addressed the issues. We're not notified of many not. other problems. Okay, but here's, excuse me, Mr. Cole, but here's the problem. You're sitting here telling me all of this, and whatever motivates them, we can deal with that as, in terms of how they got there. Right. But then they come to come into the unit. It might be because I set a trial date. It might be for various reasons, right? Yeah. They come there, and then you say no. Yes, I did. I did that on Monday. So then my question becomes... What are you trying to do here? They're not going to move you. Right. So at right? That point, if that's the only option would be for them to come in, I would have them obviously come in, Your Honor. That was always an option. Right. If they had the option to fix it in June as well, and they did not fix it. That's my, that's my, I guess, my concern, which I have, I mean, the photos of it, I have the failed inspection report. I just don't understand, I guess, necessarily. No, I can tell you don't understand. Because then the, the city has a hearing. You don't know anything about that. Right. And then the, it gets. Of that on okay, but it gets dismissed. Mm -hmm. And then you just keep trying to force this thing to go your way. And young man, I've been doing this a minute mm -hmm. for a long, long minute. But it, you, this isn't going to turn out well for you if you are proceeding this way. Okay. Let me So how much additional rent are you going to put in? Because see, I'd rather you pay your rent than me charge you costs for bringing everybody here after what you did. Um, I mean, <clears throat> at least 2000 on Friday. And then your honor, in addition, August rent would be well, I think I think he's putting the two thousand in your head was including August rent, right? Yes. So he's putting an added nine fifty in to escrow. I'll let him do that at this point. I'll adjourn the trial. When are, when when were you guys planning on entering the unit? Uh, yesterday. Um, <laughs> you and Mr. Brown. Everybody wants to do that to the judge today. <laughs> this Friday. Friday Will that work? Absolutely. All right. So, what I'm going to indicate is plaintiff, a enter unit on Friday, 28th. And then, when can I put this out for a trial? Do you want to go to August trial dates, or you want to just make a different day? Your Honor, we have a case up before you. I'm trying to save my client costs. I guess it's done for a second. Look at my calendar. You're, you're going to try to save them costs? Yeah. Oh, so you're about to do something that really isn't a concern to me, but go ahead. Well, only if it's convenient for the court. I believe I'm here in person. person on that other Arbor One counterclaim um, that we adjourned. Okay. This White Lane 2. August Justin Washburn. What what date is it? It's August fourth or eleventh. Three thirty. On August. It's on the fourth at three o'clock. I believe. The fourth at three thirty. It's over the final settlement. So we, we might have a few others. Others. Okay. Why don't I? I'll do that. August. I'll set it for August fourth. 2023 at 3.30 p.m. in person. Your Honor, my only other request, because I believe that my order was report it wasn't timely paid, is for their usual cost if the escrow is not placed by Friday. Oh, I would hope that 
Mr. Jenkins realizes that that money better be there because you've wasted a lot of time of everybody. Okay. And if it's not, then I will deal with whatever things I have to deal with. But I think he's going to logically think things through and do it the right way. So I will give him that opportunity. Okay. Thank you very much, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, folks. I'll see you on the four, three thirty. You want donuts on the four? No, yeah. I'm good. I am. I am so good. What do we set it for us? Are we allowed to do that? One o'clock.